let's have a look at this question. So it's a question about certainty equivalent. Now we know that we are risk averse and this is our utility function. Square root of our money. Now we have no initial income, we have the following gamble. With probability 1 over 3 we could get 9, with probability 2 over 3 we could get 81. Is it true or false? The certainty equivalent is 7. So first of all, what is certainty equivalent? Certainty equivalent is the certain amount of money that makes us indifferent between getting it and gambling. So certain sum of money that makes us indifferent between gambling and just taking the money and taking the money. Now when are we indifferent? This is the key word here. We are indifferent when we have the same expected happiness, the same expected utility. So that means we would like to have an expected utility from the gamble equal to the expected utility from our certainty equivalent. So let's do it. Let's zoom out to get some more space like that. Now, what would be the expected utility from the gamble? Because that's the first thing we have to know. That's the harder part. That's the probability stuff. So the expected utility of our gamble in this case would be 1 over 3 probability. We would get 9 euros. So our expected utility from those 9 euros would be square root of 9. Plus, with the other probability of 2 over 3, we would get 81 euros. So the expected utility of those 81 euros would be square root of 81. So we would have 1 over 3 times square root of 9 is 3, plus 2 over 3 times square root of 81 is 9. Now let's do some math over here. 3 and 3 cancel out. So 3 and 3 cancel out. We have only 1 left from here. 3 and 9 cancel out. So we have 3 from there. 1 plus 2 times 3 is 6, so the expected utility is 7. Now, we would like to have an expected utility from a certain amount of money, from that certainty equivalent. How much money do we have to get for certain to get an expected utility of 7? Well, let's see. We know that the utility function is square root of m. Square root of m, square root of our money. Meaning that in expectation, if we would like to have 7 units of utility, we should have a certain amount of money for sure. And that amount would be, well, if we take both to the power of 2 to get rid of the square root on the right side, it would be 49. So if we have 49 for sure, we would have the same utility of 7 units. And that would be also the utility under the gamble. So 49 euros for sure would be the certainty equivalent in this case. And the answer is false. And notice, notice that the reason they put 7 is because they want to confuse you. They want to make you think that the expected utility should be 7. But it's not about the expected utility to be 7. It's about the money that's going to give you the expected utility of 7. So it's false and we are done.